Caillou, we're leaving now. Where are you? Roar, roar! I'm playing dinosaurs. You and Rosie have been inside all day. Let's go out and get some fresh air. Can I bring my dinosaur? Why don't you bring your bucket and shovel instead? Then you could play in the sandbox. Okay. Caillou was happy to see that Leo and Clementine were at the park, too. Hi. Can I help build the sandcastle? Watch it, Caillou. Look what you did. Ah! You broke my bucket. We don't want to play with you. You break everything. Caillou didn't mean to break Clementine's bucket. He felt very badly. Mommy! <gasps> <laughs> What's the matter, Caillou? Leo and Clementine don't want to play with me. Did you tell them you wanted to play with them? Caillou didn't tell his mommy that he had broken Clementine's bucket. He was sad and angry all at the same time. I don't want to play with them anymore. I don't like them. I want to go home. But we just got here, Caillou. Rosie's awake. Why don't you play for a little while longer, okay? Leo! Clementine! Come play on the slide with me! Leo and Clementine were so busy playing, they didn't even notice Caillou. Caillou didn't find it was as much fun sliding alone. He really wanted his friends to play with him. me in the swing, too? Aren't you a little big for the baby swings, Caillou? Can you push me on the big swings, Mommy? Caillou, I can't push you on the big swings right now. I'm pushing Rosie. It was no use. Caillou tried and tried. But normally, Mommy or his friends would push him to get started. But there was one thing that Caillou could do by himself. Climb the monkey bars. you go and play with Leo and Clementine, Caillou? <laughs> they don't want me to play with them anymore because I broke Clementine's bucket. Well, why don't you lend her your bucket? Here, Clementine. You can have my bucket. Thanks. It's a nice bucket. A lot bigger than mine. Can I play with you? Sure. Sit over there. You can help me. Caillou knew that Leo and Clementine were once again his best friends in the whole wide world. <laughs> Get well soon. One of Caillou's favorite things to do was play spaceman with his best friend Leo. decided that Gilbert could help him find the spaceman. <laughs> Leo didn't hear anything and checked to see if the coast was clear. that he had won, he didn't notice that Leo was hurt. I want my mommy. What's wrong, Leo? <laughs> my foot hurts. <laughs> Caillou didn't know what to do. He felt scared. Mommy! Daddy, help! Leo hurt himself! Where does it hurt? His foot hurt him so much that he couldn't even stand on it. 
You'd better take Leo home. His parents may want to have his foot checked at the hospital. Good idea. The hospital? Kaya was worried that his friend might have to go to the hospital. Don't worry, Leo. Everything will be all right. I want my mommy. <laughs> Okay, Mommy? We'll find out soon, Caillou. But first, he needs to have his foot checked at the hospital. Caillou had never been to the hospital. He was very curious about what would happen there. What will happen at the hospital? Well, the doctor will look at Leo's foot and find out what's wrong with it. He might take a special picture called an X-ray to look at Leo's bones. I have to call Leo's parents now. Will you please watch Rosie for me? Okay. Mommy? Yes, Caillou? Will Leo be okay? I'm sure he'll be okay, but he probably won't be running around much for a little while. Caillou hoped Leo would get better fast so they would be able to play Spaceman again soon. <sighs> Maybe that's Daddy calling about Leo. Hello? Uh -huh. All right. See you soon. Bye. Was that Daddy? Yes, it was. And he says Leo is already home from the hospital and is doing fine. Do you think he could come over and play now? I don't think so, Caillou. Leo has a broken toe, so he'll have to stay off his feet for a while. He will? What's the matter, Caillou? Caillou was disappointed that he wasn't going to be able to play with Leo. I want Leo to come over. I want to hear about the hospital and play spaceman. Well, Leo can't come over here, but you can go and visit him. I can? Sure. In fact, he asked Daddy if you could come over and see him later. I bet that would really cheer him up. Caillou couldn't wait to see Leo and had a great idea to cheer him up. to draw Leo the best picture ever. Caillou wanted to draw something for Leo. But what? A spaceman. Leo loves spacemen. There. Can I see it? That's beautiful, Caillou. Maybe you can also put the finishing touches on the cookies I'm making for Leo. Okay. <laughs> that one's for Leo. Leo can't wait to see you. Me too. I made him a drawing. Can we go now? <laughs> sure we can. Hi, Leo. Caillou! Caillou was happy to see that Leo was okay. A spaceman! Wow! Thanks! Here! Wow! Does your foot hurt? It did at first. But it's okay as long as I don't walk on it. I forgot to tie my shoelaces, and I tripped on them and fell. You went to the hospital? Yeah, and the doctor took a funny picture of my toes. <laughs> you want to play space alien? How? Caillou and Leo were back to doing what they love best, playing together. Shadow play.
Caillou had his new neighbors, Jeffrey and Jason, over for some hot dogs. At first, the twins seemed more interested in each other. <gasps> Mommy! What's the matter, Caillou? Did you spill some mustard? It was... Caillou didn't know whether it was Jeffrey or Jason who had squirted him. I think Jeffrey knows what happened. That's why he's going to help clean up. Right, Jeffrey? That's enough helping for now, Jeffrey. <laughs> Can we play a game with this flashlight, Mommy? Hide and seek! Good idea, Jeffrey. You kids could go play in the backyard, but not for long. It's gonna be dark soon. <laughs> Caillou decided he would be it because he had the flashlight. What? was excited about playing with his new friends, but when he saw how the shadows had begun creeping into the yard, he felt a bit scared until he remembered his flashlight. Come out, come out, wherever you are! <laughs> hey, you two. You're hiding in a place that Kaya will never come looking. While Jeffrey's mommy explained that playing fair meant the twins had to go back outside, Caillou heard something behind a bush. Huh? Now Caillou started to get really spooked. He faced his backyard again, and with even thicker shadows, it looked like a completely new place to him. Uh, I don't want to play anymore. Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, Caillou. I startled you. Mom, is Caillou a scaredy cat? Of course not. In fact, he was pretty brave out here all by himself. It's scary out here. When Mommy turned on the backyard light, all the spooky shadows disappeared. They could even keep on playing a little while. But this time, Mommy would be it. No one will find me here. <gasps> Can I hide with you? Okay. Are you Jason? No, I am. Quick, come in. <laughs> Shh. We'll get caught. <laughs> I'm a scary monster. <laughs> Gilbert! Shh! We're hiding! Caillou didn't want to be found just yet. Thanks to the game, he and the twins were becoming fast friends. A new member of the family. No, Gilbert! Go away! Look, Rosie! This is you! Oh, look, and here's one when Gilbert was a kitten. Come and see, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at pictures with Mommy. He remembered when Gilbert was just a little kitten and Daddy had brought him home for the very first time. What is it, Daddy? Go ahead, look, it's a surprise. It's a kitten, it's a kitten. I got him at the animal shelter. They said his name is Gilbert. I think it suits him perfectly, don't you? Uh, achoo! He ran away! It's okay, Caillou. I think you just frightened him a little. He's still a baby and he needs time to get used to us. Why don't we let him look around a bit while we get some lunch? Okay, Mommy. Is Gilbert scared of me? Oh, I don't think so, Caillou. You two will have plenty of time to get used to each other. Don't worry. I thought this might make a good bed. He can sleep here in the kitchen. Why? If Gilbert is going to be part of our family, he needs his own bed. I'll just grab an old blanket from the basement. Ooh, I think somebody needs their diaper checked. I'll be back in a second, Caillou. You finish your lunch, okay? Okay. Gilbert! Caillou remembered to move slowly so that Gilbert wouldn't be afraid of him. Caillou was happy that Gilbert didn't run away this time. He wanted to hold him and pet him so that Gilbert would know that he was his friend. 
Gilbert come back? We can't allow Gilbert on the table, Caillou. We'll get him his very own little bowl and put it on the floor, okay? <laughs> you better take them both upstairs and clean them up. Can we give Gilbert a bath? Well, cats don't normally like taking baths, but Gilbert certainly needs one now. I want to help. Just as soon as we take Gilbert's flea collar off. We don't want to get it wet. Here, Caillou, why don't you hold Gilbert while I fill up the tub? Caillou was a little nervous to hold Gilbert again. He didn't like it when Gilbert squirmed in his arms. Here, let's wrap him in this towel. It'll be easier for you to hold him. You see, it's just like holding a baby. Hold on tight, but don't squeeze him too hard. Caillou loved his new kitten very much. Okay, come on, Gilbert. Time to get you cleaned up. Oh! Ah! Daddy! He ran away! Gilbert had escaped again. Caillou didn't understand why he was always running away from him. He's not here, Daddy! Not here either. Ah! There he is! Why don't we go real slow, okay, Caillou? We don't want to scare him. Okay, Daddy. Do you see him? No. He's not in his bed. Caillou, come here. I have an idea. Why are you taking off my shoes, Daddy? Not your shoes, just the laces. Here, now wave it back and forth on the floor, and I bet you it'll get his attention. Caillou didn't understand why he was doing this until... <laughs> I've never met a kitten that could resist a shoelace. Sure is. What's that noise, Daddy? He's purring. That means he's happy. Caillou was glad that he could make Gilbert happy by petting him. He liked it when Gilbert purred. Now all we have to do is put back on his flea collar. Achoo! Hmm, you've been sneezing an awful lot since Gilbert got here. I hope you're not allergic to him. What's allergic? When people are allergic to animals, they can't be around them because they make them sneeze too much and get itchy, watery eyes. This worried Caillou very much. He didn't want to be allergic to Gilbert. Come on, Caillou, let's go see what Mommy thinks. If Caillou was allergic to cats, Mommy and Daddy would have to take Gilbert back to the animal shelter. Mm, no sign of hives. And your eyes aren't watery. Do they itch, Caillou? No, Mommy. Here, Caillou, try holding him for a while. Achoo! I don't want Gilbert to leave. I have an idea. Let's try it without the flea collar on. Caillou was really hoping he wouldn't sneeze. He didn't want to be allergic to his new cat. Well, that's a good sign. Caillou, let Mommy hold Gilbert for a second, and you hold on to this. That's it. Since it was the flea collar that was making Caillou sneeze and not Gilbert, it meant that little kitten could stay. Gilbert has grown up so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how Gilbert became a new member of the family. You're getting to be a big boy. Each day I grow some more I like exploring, I'm Caillou So many things to do Each day is something new I'll share them with you, I'm Caillou My world is turning, changing each day
are falling out because I'm a big girl now. I'm gonna put it under my pillow. Then the Tooth Fairy will come at night and leave me a present. Caillou had never heard of the Tooth Fairy before. It's a magical fairy that comes when you're asleep. She looks under your pillow to see if there's a tooth, and if she finds one, she leaves you presents and sometimes money too. Caillou wished that he had a tooth to leave under his pillow for the Tooth Fairy. Here's your juice, Rosie. Now, eat your snack, Caillou. Then we can go outside and play until Mommy and Daddy get home. <laughs> it looks like you just lost a tooth, Caillou. Really? <laughs> I'm missing a tooth, too. This one right here isn't real. It comes out every night. Do you put it under your pillow for the Tooth Fairy? <laughs> Gosh, no. I don't want the Tooth Fairy to take this tooth away. get presents from the Tooth Fairy, just like Sarah. You have to wait until you lose one of your teeth before you can get a visit from the Tooth Fairy, sweetie. Can I put Grandpa's tooth under my pillow? <laughs> I'm afraid I need my tooth. And besides, I think the Tooth Fairy would know it was mine. Caillou was discouraged. He really wanted the Tooth Fairy to come and pay him a visit. He thought maybe if he wiggled his teeth enough, they would loosen. Hey, this one's loose. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look, my tooth is loose. Oh, it seems just fine to me, Caillou. It's not loose at all. Hi, Caillou. Here, I took your shovel home by mistake. Wow, Sarah, your tooth is gone. Uh-huh. Bye. <sighs> Caillou was upset that the Tooth Fairy wasn't going to visit him. Unless... Hey! This looks just like a tooth! Caillou was hoping the Tooth Fairy would mistake the pebble for a tooth and leave him a present. Good night, Caillou. Did you brush your teeth? The Tooth Fairy's gonna come tonight. Hmm? I don't think you can fool the Tooth Fairy. But why don't we leave it here, and maybe she'll come and visit you while you're sleeping. But she probably won't leave you a present. Is that okay? Okay. I want to grow up. I want a cookie, Mommy. Caillou, cookies aren't for breakfast. Okay. Caillou wished he was tall enough to get his own cookies, but he just couldn't reach the cookie jar. Come on. It's time to get ready for the park. <gasps> Look, it's Andre. Caillou hadn't seen his friend Andre in a long time. Hi, Caillou. Come play with me. <laughs> Caillou wanted to do all the things Andre was doing. Wow. Uh, whoa! It's new. My other bike got too small. Want to try it? Well, okay. 
You're too small, Caillou. Caillou wished he was big enough to ride Andre's bike. Hi, Caillou. Did you have a good time at the park? I want to be like Andre. How come? He's bigger than me. He can ride a big bike. Caillou, Andre is a little bit older than you. Besides, you've been growing too, you know. I have? Let's take a look. See? You're a whole inch taller than the last time. An inch? How big is an inch? That's quite a lot to grow, Caillou. Caillou was happy that he was bigger than before. Rosie now! We'll measure you too, Rosie. Oh, you've grown too. See, you used to be that big. Now you're up here. And that's Caillou. Big! Caillou was proud to be Rosie's big brother. If you keep growing this fast, Caillou, you'll be as big as Andre in no time. Caillou couldn't wait to be as big as Andre. How can I grow big faster? The only way to grow big and strong is to eat well and get lots of sleep. That night, Caillou ate a lot more than usual. More, Caillou? I thought you didn't like meatloaf. I want to eat lots so I can grow bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Time for dessert, Caillou. Now you can have that cookie you wanted for breakfast. I'm too full. <laughs> Come on, Caillou. You can work off all that food by helping me with the dishes. Hmm. Looks like a problem with the pipes again. I'll look at it in the morning. Caillou thought if he went to bed extra early, he might grow faster. You're getting ready for bed already? It's not even your bedtime yet. I want to get lots of sleep. Look, Caillou. I found an old picture of you. See how small you were then? <laughs> I was little. That's right, Caillou. Now you're a big boy. That night, Caillou dreamed he was big and strong. He could reach the high bar on the jungle gym. And he could ride Andre's bike. Caillou woke up. He was very happy. He was feeling much bigger. What are you doing? I want to see. See what? Daddy, Daddy, am I any bigger? <coughs> I'm afraid you're pretty much the same size as yesterday, Caillou. Caillou was disappointed. He felt like he'd never be as tall as Andre. No one grows overnight. You've got years to get bigger. What are you doing? Fixing the sink. Let's see if it works. Ah! Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like it's time to call the plumber. We probably just need to replace that leaky joint. Can I see, Daddy? Sorry, Caillou, but this is grown-up work. Caillou decided to do some work of his own on the bathroom sink. Come on, Teddy. Help me fix that leaky joint. We may need your help after all, Caillou, if you aren't too busy. Okay. See? We need to turn off the water for the plumber, but we're too big to fit in there. When the plumber gives the signal, you'll turn it off, okay? Okay. Now! Now! It's dark in here, Daddy. I'm right here, Caillou. I did it! Thanks, Caillou. I could use a little helper like you more often. Caillou was very proud that he helped the plumber fix the sink.
Aha! I see you, Andre. You win again, Caillou. Your dad never finds you. I'm small enough to fit anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou's Big Chill. It was one of the very first days of spring. The snow was melting, the flowers were growing, and Caillou and his family were outside enjoying it. See? There's a flower poking its nose up to catch a few rays of the sun. Now that all the snow is gone, the flowers can grow. The snow will be gone for a long, long time. Caillou felt a bit sad that all the snow was gone. He loved playing in the snow, and he was going to miss it. Gilbert? Hi, Caillou. Look what I found. That's the last of the snow. It will all be melted soon. I wish I could keep it. Well, if you want to keep it frozen, you should put it in the freezer. Caillou thought that was a great idea. No room! I know where! Caillou thought of a perfect place to keep his snow. The, the bathtub. bathtub! Let's get some more! Caillou and Sarah brought a pail after pail of snow until the tub was filled with Caillou's very own snow. What do you want to make with it? A snowman! My hands are cold. Uh, mine too. We need mittens. <laughs> there! Now it just needs some eyes and a nose. Hi, kids. Sarah, your mom was just calling you in for lunch. Okay. Bye, Caillou. Have fun with the snow. Snow? Can I have a carrot, Mommy? Go ahead, honey. Lunch will be a little while. Caillou thought his snowman looked absolutely perfect. Caillou, wash your hands. Lunch will be ready in a minute. After Caillou had lunch, he helped Daddy wash the car. And he helped Mommy with supper. Before he knew it, it was time to get ready for bed. Hey! Where did my snowman go? A snowman? In the bathtub? I wanted to keep it until winter. But it's time for the snow to make room for the grass and flowers. Spring is a lot of fun, too. We can ride bikes and climb trees. I like riding my bike! Caillou would miss the snow, but when he thought about it, there were a lot of things he liked about spring, too. Bye, Mr. Snowman. See you next year. Leo's Hamster. You're lucky to have a hamster. Yeah, he's a lot of fun to play with. Caillou was very excited. He was going to take care of Leo's hamster for the weekend while Leo was away. That's his food and water. You have to change it every day. Hiya, buddies. Caillou was a bit nervous. He wasn't very familiar with hamsters. And it was a big responsibility. See? You can hold him like this. Does he bite? No, but you have to be very gentle. Buddy can do tricks, too. See? Can I try? Sure. Don't move. <laughs> it tickles. He ate the whole carrot. Nah, he's just hiding it in his cheeks. can pet him on his tummy, like this. Want to play, buddy? 
<laughs> Come on, boys. Time for Caillou to bring Buddy home. Leo, be careful with your hamster. He's your pet. He's not a toy. Okay. Caillou is looking forward to bringing Buddy home and taking care of him. Here's a list for your dad, Caillou. Here we go. We have to make sure that Gilbert stays far away from Buddy. We want the room to be safe for him. Let's see what we have here. Leo said I have to check his food and water. Everything looks fine. Can I play with him now? Buddy's sleeping right now, Caillou. You should let him rest for a bit. I'm sure he'll wake up soon, okay? Okay. Caillou watched Buddy very closely. He wanted him to wake up so they could play. Buddy, are you awake? <sighs> are you still sleeping? Caillou thought Buddy had slept enough, and he really wanted to play with him. Come here, boy. Do you want to play? Caillou wasn't sure what Buddy was doing. He was crawling all over him, and it was making Caillou nervous. Did you take him out of his cage? Yes. We better get to Buddy before Gilbert does. Come on. He ran behind here. I can't see him. We better lock Gilbert up in his cage until we find him. You look for Buddy, okay? I'll be right back. and looked everywhere. But there was no sign of Buddy. Any luck? I can't find him. He's got to be here somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Not here either. Don't worry, Caillou. He can't be far. We'll find him. Buddy. Buddy! Mommy, why are you standing on the chair? Me? <laughs> oh, no reason. Where is he, honey? It went under the fridge. Here, Buddy. Come out! Keep an eye on him, Caillou. I'll go get his cage. Buddy, come! Caillou wished that Buddy would come out. He wondered what he could do to coax him out from under the fridge. Maybe he'll come if I give him a carrot. Smart thinking, Caillou. He loves carrots. Watch this, Mommy. Here, buddy. Come and get the yummy carrot. How's it going, Caillou? I think he's coming out. He's out. Okay, let's put him back in the cage now. I'll put him back. Good job, Caillou. Hmm, but how did Buddy get out? I only wanted to play with him. Playing with him is fine, but you have to make sure that he goes right back into the cage next time, okay? That's right, sweetie. You're responsible for him, and it's your job to keep him safe. Caillou, what do you say we let Buddy really get some rest now? Okay, Daddy. Okay, Gilbert, you can come out now, but you have to stay quiet because Buddy is resting. Hello, come on in. Hi, Kai.
Caillou. Hi, Gilbert. Hi, Leo. Buddy ran under the fridge, but I saved him. How did you get him out? With your carrot trick. You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning. Changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm Caillou. Are here to pick you up. But we're playing. We're making rivers. I know, but it's time to go over to Grandma's. But I want to stay and play with Leo. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we really have to go now. I have to take Rosie to the doctor for a checkup, and you're going to visit Grandma. Caillou was very disappointed that he couldn't stay and play in the backyard with Leo. Hello, Caillou. Hi, Grandma. Caillou was still wishing he could have kept playing with Leo. Would you like to go out and play in the backyard? Is there something upsetting you today? I wanted to stay at home with Leo. You have fun playing with Leo, don't you? He's my friend. Well, is there something else you would like to do? I know. I borrowed a book from the library yesterday. I thought we might read it together. Okay. At first, Caillou wasn't really interested in the book. It wasn't as exciting as playing with Leo in the backyard. But Caillou soon found the book more interesting. Caillou and Grandma read the book about the clown festival. Caillou enjoyed the book so much, he <laughs> forgot all about wanting to play with Leo. I like the clown party book, Grandma. You do? Well, why don't we have a clown party of our own right here? But where will we get the clowns? We'll make puppet clowns. Caillou loved making things with Grandma. Hello, Grandma. First, they glued orange wool on the top of a bag for clown's hair. And already, Caillou got some ideas. I'm going to color this clown with green polka dots and the other clown with red polka dots. And while Caillou colored the clowns, Grandma started to make a puppet theater for the puppets. She cut up a big cardboard box. This is fun. We can make a clown dog, too. Hello, Grandma. My name is Papa Do the Clown. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Grandma, Caillou, we're back. Hello, my name is Bopadoo, and I can't find my dog. Woof, 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 woof. Has woof, anyone woof, seen woof, my woof. dog? Here, doggy, here, doggy. Woof, doggy. Very good, Yay. Encore. Yay. Encore, Yay. You can have Leo over all day tomorrow, Caillou. Yay, we can play puppet clowns. Read all about it. La, la, bum, 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 drum, drum, Caillou was having drum, fun playing with his drum and making a lot of noise. Caillou, can you keep it down, please? Caillou was making so much noise that he couldn't hear his mommy asking him to be quiet. Caillou, come down here, please. Hi, Mommy. I'm playing with my drum. Yes, I can hear that, but I'm reading now, and I would appreciate it if you were quiet, okay? What are you reading? A very good book. Caillou loved it when Mommy read to him. Can you read it to me? 
Well, this is a grown-up book, and I don't think it'll interest you all that much. But I'm on my last page. It'll just take me a moment, and then we can read one of your books together, okay? Caillou didn't feel like looking at his books. He wanted Mommy to read him a new story. Are you finished yet? There, all done. Have you chosen a book for us to read? I want a new story. Well, I know exactly the place where we could find all sorts of new stories. At the library. Can we go, Mommy? Sure. I have to return this one today. That's why I was in a hurry to finish it. Caillou was very happy to be going to the library with his Mommy. Hurry, Mommy. I want to get a book, too. Shh, Caillou. You have to be quiet in the library. Caillou had been to the library before, but he forgot that he was supposed to be very quiet. There are a lot of people that come here to read and work. We have to be quiet so we don't disturb them. Okay. Can I get a book now? Caillou knew there was a different floor where they had all sorts of picture books, and he was in a big hurry to get there. I know where the picture books are, Mommy. Then lead the way. You certainly do know your way around, Caillou. Caillou loved looking at all the colorful books. There were so many, it was hard to choose which one he would borrow. Hello, Caillou. What a nice surprise. Look, Caillou, it's Clementine's mommy. I didn't know you worked here. I volunteer once a month for story time. In fact, it's just about to start. Would you like to come and sit with us, Caillou? Can I, mommy? Of course you can. I'll go browse around for a new book. I'll be back later, okay? Would you like to help me choose the story for today? Can we read this one? Baxter the Bashful Bear. That's an excellent choice. Clementine's mom first read the story about Baxter the Bashful Bear. Then she read another story, and then another. They were all new to Caillou, and he thought they were wonderful. The end. Did you all enjoy the stories? Yeah! I see that story time was a success. Baxter is very funny, Mommy. You can tell me all about him on our way home. I don't want to go. I want to stay and look at the books. Would you like to take these ones home with you, Caillou? When you bring them back, you can choose some new stories for story time, okay? Okay. Now take very good care of them so that the other children can read them after you're done. Daddy, look! I have new books! And you have your own library card, too. We had story time with Clementine's mommy, and she read stories about Baxter the Bashful Bear. That sounds like a lot of fun. Can you read them to me? I sure can. Over the next few days, Caillou read his new books over and over with Mommy and Daddy, and Rosie, too. In fact, he had read them so often that he forgot they were only borrowed until it was time to return them to the library. Caillou, come on, we're going to the library. Okay, Mommy. Don't forget to bring back the books you borrowed. Caillou had accidentally colored on one of the books that belonged to the library. Oh, no. He didn't mean to do it, but now he was afraid of bringing them back. I'll meet you here right after story time, Caillou. Okay, Mommy. Hello, Caillou. I was hoping you'd come back soon. Did you come to return the books you borrowed? Caillou was worried that Clementine's mom would be upset when she saw the book with the crayon scribbled on it. Can I keep them? Wouldn't you rather take some new ones instead? I'll tell you what. If you return the Baxter books, you can borrow this one about the ten little piglets. We'll be reading about them at story time today. Is this your drawing, Caillou? Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Don't cry. There's no harm done. You're not mad at me? No. These books can take a little punishment. They clean right up. Look. And besides, it was an accident, right? It's all gone. 
I can tell you're very good with crayons. Would you like to draw something that we can put up on the wall in the library? I'm going to draw Baxter the Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, we read a story about the ten little piglets. The story must have been very funny. And Clementine's mommy put my drawing up on the wall. That's wonderful, Caillou. Let's bring your books to the counter so we can take them home. I want to do it. Caillou was happy to take home a new book again. And this time, he would be extra careful with it. Goodbye, Caillou. See you soon. Mom for a day. I have to go to a business meeting. Mm. And I won't be home until very late. Mm. Do you think you could help Daddy while I'm gone, Caillou? Yes, Mommy. No, Daddy. What's wrong, Caillou? Mommy never puts cheese on Rosie's macaroni. She doesn't like it. Juice? Daddy, Mommy always adds a little water to Rosie's apple juice. Oops, I forgot. You're absolutely right, Caillou. What would I do without your help? Hmm, what about Gilbert? What's his routine, Caillou? <laughs> Make sure he has fresh water and food. Ready or not, here I come! <laughs> I found you! <laughs> Kyle knew whenever he hurt himself, Mommy always kissed his boo-boos until he felt better. I'll make it better, Rosie. I'm the daddy, and you're the baby, Rosie. Caillou was having a wonderful time playing house with Rosie. But Rosie was getting tired. I think somebody's ready for a nap. Wait, Daddy! Caillou was bored and wanted to play with Rosie, but he knew he wasn't allowed to make noise when she was taking her nap. Uh You. Did you wake Rosie up on purpose? Maybe you should go and play in your room for a while until supper's ready, okay? Rosie, you have to eat everything on your plate if you want dessert. Look, Caillou ate everything. Rosie, look! This is an airplane. Open wide for the plane. Room! <laughs> I wonder what Mommy would do to make Rosie stop fussing. I know. You're a tired little girl, Rosie. You have to go to bed. Daddy, you forgot to read us a story. Well, why don't you read us the story tonight, Caillou? Okay. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away. Caillou, Rosie, what are you two still doing up? Shh, Daddy's asleep. <laughs> Caillou plays baseball. He's batting 365, but his first base play is off. Daddy, what's a base? The bases are what the batter runs around after he hits the ball. He wants to get to as many bases as he can before the ball is caught. Caillou didn't quite understand what his daddy was talking about. Hooray! <laughs> he hit a home run! In the bottom of the ninth! Oh, what a great game. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> I want to play baseball, Daddy. Here's a glove, Daddy. Thanks, Caillou. But here's the baseball glove. 
This is the glove Grandpa gave to me when I was little, and now I'm giving it to you. Wow! Thanks, Daddy! Here, let me throw you one so you can try out the glove. Oops! Oh, no! <laughs> That's why Mommy says don't throw balls in the house, Daddy! <laughs> I guess you're right, Caillou. Caillou was all ready to learn how to play baseball. Okay, Caillou. The first step to playing baseball is learning how to catch. Okay. Good catch, son. Your turn, Caillou. <laughs> Throwing and catching the ball weren't as easy as they looked. That's okay. Next time, try to catch it with both hands. That's what beginners do. Did someone lose this? Hello! I'm playing baseball, Mr. Hinkle. Baseball? My favorite game. I used to be quite a player when I was a kid, you know. Here, Caillou, catch. I think this glove is broken, Daddy. It takes a bit of practice to learn how to catch a ball. Here, let me show you how to hold your mitt. It seemed to Caillou that everyone knew how to play baseball. Everyone, except him. You know, I didn't know how to throw and catch very well when I started playing. <laughs> I'll say he didn't. When your dad started learning how to play, there were quite a few broken windows around the house. But he got the hang of it soon enough and had a great time playing. Really? Sure. Here, catch. I hate baseball. What do you say we take a little break and go to the park, Caillou? Wow! Throw it back, Caillou. Go on, try. Good throw, Caillou. Caillou was happy he made a good throw. Guess your practicing this morning paid off. We usually come to practice every day. If you keep practicing, maybe you'll be able to play with us soon. Daddy, can you show me how to hold my glove now? It takes a little time to get used to the feel of catching a ball in a glove. Try to do this a few times. Keep at it and soon you'll be able to catch the ball in the glove almost every time. Catching a ball still wasn't easy. But Caillou was having fun now. <laughs> Give that back, Gilbert. Catch, Gilbert. Sorry, Daddy. That's okay. Here, catch. I caught it! I caught it! I can play baseball. Almost. You still have to learn how to bat. No one told him there was still more to learn. Hang on, Caillou. Let me give you a hand. If you hold the bat this way, it will help you be a good hitter. And it helps to stand like this. Now, just keep your eye on the ball. Caillou just wanted to hit the ball. When can I hit it, Daddy? Now! I did it! I did it! Run to first base, Caillou! Run! Uh, the other way. Caillou, run! Hooray! <laughs> I like batting. So do I. You hit to me first, Sarah. Caillou couldn't believe how far Sarah hit the ball.
I can't do that. Or that. Not yet, but you'll be able to someday if you keep practicing. But I want to play a game. Okay, come on. Space Caillou, run! <laughs> it's a home run! I like baseball, Daddy. <laughs> so do I, Caillou. Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs>